Renewables as a whole is an immature market. It has a number of components, including hydropower, solar, and wind. While progress has been made, it remains an industry with considerable growth potential. To ensure its progression, it requires a number of knowledgeable individuals with experience in scaling and realizing the potential of large projects. As a company, SunGrid Solutions, backed by their team of industry experts, produce lithium ion battery applications, supported by decades of experience in the energy storage and solar power industries. In this interview, we will talk with SunGrid Solutions Chief Executive Officer, Joseph Snodgrass, about his career experiences and how he will bring these to bear the company. My name is Kerrigan Chauvin, and this is A Moment With. So, Jody, where are we today? We are at the SunGrid corporate headquarters in beautiful Houston, Texas. And what role does this location have to do with the advancement of solar and renewables? For SunGrid, this is where we manage all of our projects. We oversee um, the construction, supply chain, project controls, all of the things, and, and of course new technology, and all of the pieces that allow us to always deliver on time and on budget. So looking around here, obviously this is not where you're holding the giant batteries, right? No, it's not. No, this is, this is just the corporate. Um, those are various sites throughout the country, uh, both in the U.S. and Canada. We have uh, special warehouses where we store these, as well as um, you know, delivered to site and then uh, ultimately installed as the project moves forward. So the company creates battery energy storage systems. Why is that needed? Battery energy storage is needed because electrons aren't always needed when they're created. So as an example, uh, the sun doesn't always shine, the water doesn't always run, the, the wind doesn't always blow. And so it's important to be able to capture those electrons when they're not needed and then release them back when they are needed by the grid. What are some of the challenges around battery storage? Battery storage solutions are difficult in that you have a multiple number of manufacturers and suppliers of different components of the batteries that don't necessarily talk to each other the way they should. And so it's very important that you design an operating system that underlies that to make all of the components talk to each other as you go. The people you surround yourself with on your team are important to you, correct? Yes. But what about your consumers? Are they just as important? They're relying on you for means of energy, a means of life. How are you ensuring them a great product? Our role is to build a battery system that is high quality, that's gonna last for at least 20 years and uh, have a very high availability, typically higher than 95%, sometimes as high as 97 or 98%. And that is important because people rely on that as their backup uh, if, for whatever reason, the grid might go down for, for whether it's weather related or uh, some type of natural disaster or tornado or whatever. Uh, it's really important that they have that to rely on. And so it's a, it is imperative for us to deliver a high quality product on time and on budget so that people can use that for the next coming years. How has your previous experience helped prime and prep you for your position at SunGrid now? My previous experiences uh, working in a multitude of different industries have really prepared me for this role. I've been able to lead teams as small as five, as large as 4,000 in many different industries, geographies, even different companies within the same industry who all deliver the same thing slightly differently. Through those experiences, I've been able to gather a lot of information, feedback, lessons learned, uh, in order to cherry pick kind of the best way to do different things and have been able to bring that to SunGrid and, and our future. So what has been the biggest thing you've learned so far in your career? Is that the tools and processes are important, but the people are more important. Mm -hmm. To uh, be able to utilize 
uh, individuals' talents and be able to uh, progress towards a common goal. And what motivates you to keep making a difference? Um, I will, uh, I'm a movie buff, so I'll go back to uh, Ford versus Ferrari. And it, it, Miles is always looking for the perfect lap. I'm looking for the perfect project, and I haven't found it yet. So it, it's the ability to put all of the good works of, of different individuals with their core talents in order to have a perfect project. You talk a lot about people. Is there any one person in particular that's been an inspiration to you? I, I've had so many over uh, my career. I've been so fortunate to work in, in different industries at different times, public companies, private companies, uh, consultant, and, and had so many mentors. Uh, I was going back through my career and I think I've had more than 15 mentors uh, over uh, the last 30 plus years. And I've been able to take the bits and pieces from each one of them and, and craft them into my own. And you say that the team at SunGrid is the best that you've assembled. What do you hope to accomplish with these people you've surrounded yourself with? Is uh, the best, um, in this case, the best uh, uh, battery energy storage uh, company uh, in the world. Um, we have a goal to be a world-class uh, best company in the next 12 months, and that is the, where we're, we're aiming for. Um, as you mentioned, this is the, or I mentioned, this is the best team that mm -hmm. we've ever put together. And, uh, um, and that's saying a lot because I've had some great uh, teams I've had the opportunity to work with over the years, but um, really have some quality professionals across uh, all the different gambits of, of project delivery. And how has this market changed since you've arrived? Are you constantly having to adapt to the market, hiring new people to take on different market needs? Yeah, so there's, it, it's, a, it's an immature market. Um, the, uh, the technology is changing every 18 to 24 months. And so being able to adapt to changing technology, changing needs from the Inflation Reduction Act, changing needs from sustainability and ESG goals of, of different organizations, as well as the changing needs as we, uh, as, a, as a country and as a civilization, require more and more electrons every day and being able to provide those in a sustainable manner. Sustainability is a big topic right now. I feel like everyone's trending more so that way. Is there a wider audience who are trying to acquire sustainability than what you would generally Yeah, yeah more than ever. And, and that's really leading to part of the growth of, mm -hmm. of the renewables marketplace uh, in, you know, in general and specifically in the, in, the, in the battery energy storage marketplace. We're seeing a, you know, a doubling almost of, of the industry every year for the foreseeable future. And, and in saying that, you have more and more organizations who have uh, signed up for ESG goals or ESG uh, um, initiatives. And as part of that, um, all of renewables, including batteries, are, mm -hmm. are an important part of that uh, as we change how we uh, generate electricity in this country. Do you ever think there will be a time where we are completely using companies like SunGrid? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, I, I think it has a place and there are, uh, there's a place for all of the pieces, wind, solar, hydro, natural gas, and, and mm -hmm. other things as, as we move forward. Um, it, it, it would, it's a very lofty goal to say that the, the, the country would be yeah. uh, completely sustainable, but um, there is certainly a, a, a large demand for it and a large need for it. And, and it, it, you know, it's the right thing to do as we move forward. And overall, how is the renewables industry performing in the present day? Uh, performing extremely well. There, there's a, a huge value to renewable energy, whether it be uh, wind, solar, hydro, batteries, um, and a myriad of other uh, smaller renewable energy sources. And they all have a play in, in the overall energy market for North America. Uh, we see huge potential and huge growth in uh, renewable energy market in the U.S. for the next seven to ten years. Do you think that's insured? And if not, how do you ensure that you keep professionally growing? Uh, it's even the most uh, conservative forecasts show a um, doubling and tripling of the market size over the next uh, three to five years. 
um, the more robust uh, forecasts show a much higher six, seven times market growth. Um, it, is a, uh, it is the future. Uh, it is the, the, the prospects of how we generate energy in, in this marketplace. Is, uh, it, it spreads all the gamuts, but, but renewables has a huge play in the next uh, five to 10 years. Speaking of moving forward, how do you ensure that you keep moving forward and keep adapting? Uh, personally, I, uh, I continually read, continually study. I'm a big advocate of advanced learning, talking to people, listen to other people, listen podcasts, those types of things. Uh, professionally and as an organization, we are always recruiting new talent, uh, trying to uh, look at doing things differently than we've done them before in order to uh, stay up with the ever-changing technology and the ever-increasing demand. And how do you view the future of the company? Uh, the future is very bright. Um, when, when you have a, a hockey stick growth uh, of, of the marketplace uh, in, in renewables and there is a, uh, a large need for storage in general, um, whether it's lithium-ion batteries or, or, or different types of, of energy storage, there you know the sun doesn't always shine and the wind doesn't always blow, and and um, there's more electrons uh, created at times and, and more used at times, and so storage is is a key element of of trying to levelize um, our both our production and consumption. Do you think that knowledge to the consumer would benefit you in the end if there was more knowledge? available to them about what you do, about what SunGrid is, that they would be more on board? Uh, yeah, I, I definitely think so, because there, there is a, um, it's a complicated uh, uh, concept of, of talking about electricity going in and out and, and where it goes in and out and how you, how you generate it. And there is always difficulty in permitting and in interconnect agreements with the grid and those types of things. And the more the public has knowledge about that and the understanding of why it's necessary and why we need it uh, does make it easier going forward. And how will you look to shape the future of SunGrid? My role within SunGrid is, is really three facets. Number one is to uh, create and sell a vision to the team so that we understand where point A, B is and, and, and the roadmap that needs to be developed to get to point B. Number two is to uh, bring resources to the team, enable them to do the, the good works that they've been hired for. And those resources can be people, it can be money, it can be software, tools, processes. And then number three is to remove roadblocks. Sometimes folks say, Jody, I, I see point B, you got me all the resources to get there, but there's this mountain in the way and I just can't get around it. And sometimes my job is to try to knock the mountains down. Well, Jody, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you.